Hey, this is the Max Pro channel. Um, I got a lot of people coming to my channel who are happen to be uh, uh, beginners to intermediate players, and um, they want me to explain like different things, like how to, you know how do you go about picking a base, um, which uh, is a good beginner base to go for, and whatnot like that. And I just thought I'd do a little uh, lecture on um, a subject that um, probably a lot of beginners. I don't know if they're too aware about, or maybe they're not in the knowledge about. Nothing's pretty important, and it's about strings. So let's get to it. Um, over here, I got some diagrams that you're gonna like look at. You're gonna see something here called flat wound strings, round wound strings, and round wound or half round strings. And all these are usually the strings that I'm. You know, basis use, and uh, there are things like uh, nylon strings and whatnot like that. Uh, there are some uh, uh, round wound strings made out of a very uh, high pitched uh, piano wire. Um, you know, those are for uh, um, certain tastes. But uh, these are basically the strings flat wound, round wound, ground wound that um, everyday basses use. I'm just going to get into uh, some of the differences of them. Uh, these are diagrams from the internet that I'm using. Uh, now what you see here is uh, the circumference of the string, the roundness of the string, and in the middle, which is a different cover, color, is a representation of what's in the string. Okay, the string start, starts off with this little core, this long metal uh, string core, and then the outside, that's another, uh, um, you know, m metal string wrapped around the core there. That's how they make strings. Now as you can see this is the flat wound string in the beginning um, for electric bass that's all they had was flat wound strings and the flat wound strings as you can see by this diagram uh, it's, uh, the, it's a flat wire or a shaved down flat wire that's wrapped around this big long wire and it gives off a very deep tone uh, a lot of what you hear in the early 50 records and um, especially Motown um, James Jamerson the great Motown legend uh, exclusively used flat wounds for those deep tones and uh, here's another diagram showing uh, what the uh, core string looks like and how it's the flat wound piece of wire is wrapped around the core there and yeah, all those, all those early 50 records and um, even today, real deep toned uh, bass lines you hear, um, this is the string that does it, flat wound string, um, real deep, uh, real bassy, not much trouble at all, which brings us to a, another string, which is a pretty popular string that came out uh, after the uh, flat wound strings called the round wound. These are very popular uh, in pop music. They're very popular today. Almost uh, all the um, pop players, uh, some jazz players, uh, who like to um, do the uh, thumping of Laragram and uh, you know um, Lewis Johnson and uh, Victor Wooten and Stanley Clark. I mean, here are the strings, round wound strings. As you can see, let's go to the top is uh, pretty much laid the same way as the uh, flat wound strings. It's uh, one long middle string in the middle which is called the core and the outside string is wrapped around and the outside string in this case is a roundish string as you can see it's a uh, diagram cuts the string in half so you can see it and um, this gives off a much thumpier much uh, brighter tone than the uh, flat wound. The bulk race strings just uh, this one uh, usually used in uh, the pop world a lot more and a uh, very popular string very popular string I almost exclusively use these strings uh, for certain occasions if I want to play like a little Motown with a band or something I will use uh, the, the bass with the flat wound strings but round wound basically is my string has a lot of players which brings us to the ground wound or half round string now what do you want if you want to be able to play the deep bass when you want it and if you want to get a little funky in between you play a little funky bass in the round wound if you want it well then there's the ground wound or the half round as you can see the diagram here the 
ground wound has a flat surface around the core, as you can see, but on the bottom of that surface is a roundish, edgy type of bottom which surrounds the, the uh, uh, core string, giving you a little bit of that deep tone that you need, and if you want to, if you want to pop a little bit, you get a little bit of that uh, funky pop. So that's a, in between the round, the ground, I mean the, the, the round wound and the flat wound. Now, I got a lot of experience with the flat wound. Great experience with the round wound, but I've only used the ground wounds once, and that's only been on one base. And uh, they're cool, but I, I, I uh, my favorite string is the round wound. I gotta admit, the round wound. Here, it's a little light. Oh, that's, that's the thing, though. Round wound is, 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 I do prefer that a little better than, than both of them. Nothing wrong with flat wound. Not really too familiar with the round wound, but uh, if I were to choose, this would be my string. The round wound string. And that's the three different strings there. Let me give you a little closer view of the flat wounds. This is a, uh, you know, I, I have some um, strings over here I can show you, but you know, this is uh, a better representation because it's kind of magnified. This is what a flat wound string looks like close up, in which you would play. As you can see, it's totally flat around, wrapped around. You can see the little separations there, little, little dividers. It's totally wrapped around that big long string in the middle. There's, Inside this wrapped around string is this big long string called the core, core string. That's what it starts off to be. Flat wounds. If you want that deep, deep rock and roll or Motown tone, get you some flat wounds. They don't hurt at all. In fact, believe it or not, Bernard Edwards, the famed bassist of the disco group Chic, he used flat wounds, and he used to pop a little bit. He uh, had a way of uh, using his uh, uh, thumb like a pick where he could get those uh, bright tones. That he, and supposedly they were all flat wounds. They weren't half rounds. So it's not like it can't be done. Depends on each style. But these are generally for the deep tones. Flat wounds. Take that away. I didn't really want to get to that. I put these in the wrong order. Go around. We'll get to the half rounds. This is a close-up of the round wounds. Now, as you can see, the definition of the round wounds very different, all round, very pronounced looking. See them, round and bumpy there. The round wounds get you that, that that edgy tone, that that funky tone that everybody loves in those funk records. Very, very popular string, almost exclusively used by a whole lot of bass players. They love the round wounds. Love those round wounds. Love that biting sound, especially on a Fender Jazz bass or a Music Man Stingray. They really stand out. Very popular string round ones. And of course, like I said before, the half rounds, here's what they see, what they look like. Now, as you can see, they look like flat wounds, but those uh, separations there, those dividing lines right there look a little more pronounced. It's a little more deeper than what you saw in the flat wounds. That's because they're half and half, half round, half flat. And if you want a, the best of both worlds, well, this is what you get. You get the half rounds. Okay. Half rounds. And or ground wounds. I'm not sure the ground wounds. They're basically the same. Um, only thing, uh, the ground wounds, I think, they're more flatter up the top and rounder at the bottom. This is, the half rounds are more like a mixture. Yeah. Yeah. And as I said before, hi, um, there are other strings like the, uh, nylon strings that are used basically for jazz bass, uh, trying to emulate, um, uh, more of a, um, I guess an acoustic bass, you know, acoustic bass via violin tone with the uh, nylon strings. There's also some strings, that I think they still make them, they're made of a very, very light piano wire and gives a really, really high trebly sound more than the average round wounds. I had those on a bass, a Kramer bass of mine before. Now the Kramer basses back then were pretty trebly anyway.
basically it um, about uh, strings on the bass and um, uh, if you have any questions if uh, uh, you know just uh, write me here on the Max Round channel on YouTube and if, if there's anything that I missed or you may disagree with hey you won't hurt my feelings tell me you know go ahead and uh, share that with me if uh, you know anything more about strings that uh, you'd like to tell everybody I really appreciate it it's all about the knowledge like I said so that's it from the Max Proud channel we're talking about bass strings today and what can I say remember those round wounds I love them <laughs> kind of biased with the round wounds okay until next base y'all this is the Max Proud channel